What we are doing is, is Rex, is we are selecting, helping physicians select a certified EHR product that offers the best value for their provider's needs. We help them achieve effective implementation of the, this certified EHR product. We help enhance their clinical and administrative workflows to optimally leverage the system's potential to improve quality of care, including the patient experience, as well as the outcome of care. We observe and comply with all applicable legal, regulatory, and professional and ethical requirements to protect the integrity, privacy, and security of all of our patients' health information. As proposed, the incentive payments amount decreases over time to encourage the providers to become early meaningful users of EHR. In general, eligibility, eligible professionals who are early adopters can qualify up to 44,000 in the aggregate over five years in the Medicare program or $63,750 within the Medicaid programs. The state HIE cooperative agreement program funds all the state's efforts to rapidly build capacity for exchanging health information across the healthcare system, both within and across the states. They are responsible for increasing connectivity and enabling a patient-centric information flow to improve the quality and efficiency of care. Key to this continual evolution and advancement of necessary governments, policies, technical service, business operation, and financing mechanisms for HIE over each state and over the SDE's four-year performance period. This program is building on existing efforts to advance regional and state-level health information exchange while moving toward nationwide interoperability. Electronic health record adoption and other information technology uptake is expected to be at its highest in 2010 and 2011. According to Price Waterhouse in a recent survey, providers were asked whether their systems would incur the most cost for implementing EHRs and other mandates. 34% said they were going to spend the majority of their money in 2010, and 47% stated 2011. Health information technology can make our healthcare system more efficient and improve the quality of care we all receive, said the Secretary of Health and Human Services. These grant awards, the first of their kind, will help develop our electronic infrastructure and give doctors and other health care providers the support they need as they adopt this powerful technology. Under the High Tech Act, $677 million is allocated to support a nationwide system of RECs that cover every geographical region in the U.S. to ensure support for all the health care providers and communities across the country. The regional extension centers are going to focus their most intensive technical assistance on clinicians, physicians, PAs, and nurse practitioners furnishing primary care services with a particular emphasis on individuals and small group practices of fewer than 10 clinicians with prescriptive privileges. These clinicians and these practices deliver the majority of primary care services but have the lowest rate of adoption of EHR systems and have the least accesses, access to resources to help them implement and use and maintain systems. Regional extension centers will also focus intensive technical assistance on clinicians providing primary care in public and critical access hospitals, community health centers, and in other settings that predominantly serve the uninsured, underinsured, and medically underserved population. Of the clinics that we are currently, that are currently enrolled with High Tech LA, between 65 and 78 percent of the care that they provide is to uninsured patients. Of the 7,800 priority primary care physicians that are located just within L.A. County, High Tech L.A. is tasked with help, helping 3,000 of these physicians achieve stage one meaningful use by April 1st of 2012. The only critical access or rural hospital in L.A. County is located on Cat Catalina Island, and we've got a lot of staff that want to go over there and work full time and help them. Cal Optima is another REC in California and is only the other is the second health plan in the entire US that is funded by a public health plan. They serve as Orange County and they will be tasked with um, setting up 1,000 physicians. Cal Hipso, the organization covers the rest of the state of California and they are designed to set up and provide services for 6,000 physicians.